code orange. I repeat, code orange. Today's video features Ray Dunn spooky hunting and finds. Make sure to stay tuned for the haul at the end. <laughs> Hello my spooky friends, welcome back to my channel. Daniel here from Second Chance Love and I am back with a video about Code Orange. Now I'm sure a lot of you already know what Code Orange means and that technically means that Halloween and fall items are upon us at the stores. So today's video, which is a special edition is what I would like to say because I'm actually not done with my Hawaii series, you guys. There's still a few more videos that I have. I still have a Goodwill video, a um, Ray Dunn hunting video, and a few other things that we did in Hawaii. So those are still coming up, but I decided that I wanted to switch it up a little bit and share with you my spooky, spooky finds. And I'm so excited to get started with today's video, you guys. As always, let's go ahead and get the formalities out of the way if you haven't subscribed to my channel i welcome you to hit that subscribe button if you're a new subscriber or a newcomer into my channel welcome 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 thank you so much for stopping in for today's video today's video is going to be all about spooky finds at home goods yes ray dunn has already been hitting the stores you guys and they've been hitting a lot earlier i feel this year let me know in the comments below if you guys are having the same luck that you did last year because I feel like there's a lot more stuff out already and it's barely still the middle of July. So as always, let's go ahead and get started with today's video with a shop with me session. So make sure to check out the shop with me session, which will happen right now and make sure to stay tuned so you don't miss out on all the spooky finds that I picked up. So we are starting off our shop with me session you guys i finally found a dorothy mug which i was so happy so there are going to be some things in here that are not halloween related these are perfect mugs for fall so i came across the morning pumpkin i thought they were so cute with the little pumpkins at the bottom then these are some from last year like this happy halloween one side says happy and the other side says halloween these were so cute for fall apple cider. I love the burgundy color. Then there's this one as well that says morning pumpkin. I love the orange too. And hubby was also right on hunting with me and he found this pumpkin Halloween birdhouse, which I thought was so cute. I love the size. It was a really good big size pumpkin. And I do not care for the gnomes, so, but this one's pretty cute. Pumpkin carver and then a spider web on the lid. I thought it was really cute, but just not for me. They also had a lot of cute decor pieces for your bathrooms, like this set that says spooky and witch please with the hat. I love it. There was a different set as well in white, trick or treat and spooky. And they're really good sizes, and I just loved all the different soaps, you know, the soap pumps that they had. They definitely had a really large variety at Home Goods. They had the usual um, wine tumblers, Spooky, Drink of Witches, Toxic, Witch. Here are some mugs as well. These are most likely from last year's Trick or Treat, Happy Halloween, Potion. So they definitely had a lot of mugs. A lot of these were very familiar from last year when I was Ray Dunn hunting for Halloween last season, but I absolutely fell in love with this Hocus Pocus pumpkin soap pump. If I didn't have the Johanna Parker soap pumps, I probably would have picked this one up. And which please in this color, let me know what you guys think. And also for the Ghoul's Night Out, the yellow and the blue, do you feel that that goes with Halloween? I was telling my hubby that it just didn't really make sense for Halloween. I love this boo to you. It was so adorable. And gold friend. Who has the gold friend? I thought this was so pretty with the orange lettering on the black and the orange on the inside. They also had some fall decor set out already. This one says pumpkin spice. This was a canister. And 
the price is at the bottom. This thing was so heavy and it's so hard to film at the same time. And I can't believe that they already have also stuff for fall, you guys. Like this one right here is a Harvest Pumpkin canister as well in gray. They even had the gravy boats. I found it so crazy that these items were already out. I mean, I understand Halloween, but fall as well. Then they had this really cute mummy cat. I think it was so adorable and precious. It was so cute. And here you see just a large variation of a lot of the Halloween decor that they had. And they definitely had so much at this one store. <laughs> items like the candy corn and the you're so corny mug topper they're again very very cute but i'm not really into the gnome look in my home but i just thought they were really really precious here is a kitchen crop that says boo and white lettering really a good size and i know they went up in price here's another gnome topper mug caught in your web of lies this is such a cute saying. I don't know why I find it so funny and adorable, but I thought it was really cute. Here is the More Booze Please topper mug with the witch's feet. And I love the stockings in the orange and black. Really, really cute. Different, definitely a different variation from last year. And here are some fall mugs. I really love when they add the artwork to the mugs. So this is one of the back. And here are some small boo cauldron candles it was really hard to open you guys but they were so pretty i love that it was iridescent but i just couldn't find it in myself to pay that much for that little candle but it was really cute and they also had it in poison so definitely lots of ray done already another random find was this bell mug that said beauty and some more halloween finds throughout Here's a Sanderson Sisters canister. Who is ready for the sequel? I definitely am. I can't wait for it to come out on Disney+. Plus. Then we found some of the salt and pepper shakers that are pumpkin. This is definitely more for fall, not Halloween. And we also found this Boo pumpkin set. It's like a three-piece small ceramic set. Very, very cute for tier trays or for an area that just you want to spruce up a little bit of decor. And I also came across this hay rise. This is one that I definitely regret not getting because I had such a hard time finding fall mugs last year. Hopefully they will still have it in store when I go back. Then there's this cellar that says Candy Coma with the three little candy corns. And the mummy! Oh my gosh, a lot of people love this little guy. I love that they brought out small versions of them this year because they were really ginormous last year. And I did find some Ray Dunn towels. I really love these kitchen towels, the Feeling Wicked, the colors, the green, purple, black, and white, and then a dash of magic at the back. I thought these were really nice. I love the color combination. And for your fur babies, they had a lot of new bowls, like Beautiful, Potion, Scary Cute, Howler. There's just so many cute dishes for your fur babies, so definitely don't forget about your fur babies during the holiday season. They can also feel special if you get them a little something for each holiday. So I came across this spooky season. Yes, you know we gotta get this one, you guys, because hello, spooky season. And Jack O' Lantern, come on, you can't have a Halloween without a pumpkin. They had these baby canisters, the Oh My Gourd. Again, I, I love the color. So pretty, but not for me, not just yet. And I found a lot of these. I mean, it has a pumpkin for Cinderella. So does that count for, you know, code orange? But they're so expensive. $30, I'm sorry. I'll wait until they're most likely on clearance. 
Here's a few baking trinkets. Here's a baking dish with the three skeletons. So iconic. I really wish I could find the measuring cups. Tonight we fly. Yes, Hocus Pocus vibes again. I really love what they did with the metal tumblers this year. How it has the all the designs all over it. I just love it and the lettering too. And I found the Hocus Pocus I Need Candy to Focus book stack. These are so adorable. And that is the price for this one. They also had another one that said Hocus Pocus. There's a Hocus Pocus baking dish. I love this orange, you guys. It's such a beautiful color. And they have this, which I totally thought was a candle. But it, I was having such a hard time opening this, you guys. I had to put down my phone in order to be able to open this to determine. And to determine if it was a candle. And it was not. It's like a little tray, like a trinket pumpkin. I mean, you can't fit so much. And I found these two ceramic witch hats, Flight Night. I love this. And Witch Please. These are so adorable and would be so perfect on, you know, on its own or in a cute area. I finally found these. It was so hard for me to find these last year, but they had so many of the Johanna Parker cottage um, kitchen towels. I couldn't believe I finally found them. And I also really enjoyed this one. It was giving me Day of the Dead vibes with the bright colors. And it said Shake Your Bones and Spooky on the back. I do hope that you guys enjoyed that shop with me experience. Spooky. There's so much cute stuff, you guys. I cannot believe it. Like, it's already here. I just recently went over to our storage facility because we do have a lot of our holiday decor in a storage facility and I was so overwhelmed because I'm like I did not realize how much stuff I bought last year for Halloween so I have to be very very careful on what I pick up this year because there are some cute stuff there's some things that I wasn't able to find last year that are coming back this year so I just you know I need to be very very careful if not I'm gonna have a lot but let's go ahead and get started with the haul and what spooky items made it home with me. So disclaimer, the majority of it is going to be a Raydan because you guys know and I'm a really, really big Raydan fan. So I absolutely love this and I knew that I had to have it. Spooky season. It's so pretty in this orange. I absolutely, absolutely love this orange. So we do have the spooky season and it has black on the inside. These are of course now $6.99. So I am having all the luck in home goods. I did go to a Marshalls, but it was literally one small tiny little aisle in a corner and that was it. I haven't even bothered to check out any other TJ Maxx or Marshall stores because I just think they, they're not with it. They're not like home goods that's on top of the game and they got their shipments early so they're already putting stuff out for Halloween. So definitely if you guys are hunting check your home goods first because I think that's where all the stuff is going to first. So we have the spooky season. I love this mug you guys. It's so adorable. Spooky season. What better, better thing than for Halloween. It's going to be a lot of paper noise because these are all still wrapped up in paper because I like them to stay protected. And next we have the jack-o-lantern. So you guys saw this in the shop with me session. It says Jack O Lantern and it has like a very pale yellow, kind of like an orange yellow on the inside, which is such an absolute beautiful color. $6.99 Jack O Lanterns are definitely a major part of Halloween. So you have to have that in your collection, I feel. Next up is, ooh, I know what this is. So. Let me know in the comments below, what are you guys looking for? Um, let me know if you have found the things that you're looking for or what are you most excited about. And I, again, I am a huge Raydon collector and I'm usually always hunting for thrifted pieces. But of course, Halloween and the holiday stuff, then it's newer. You don't always find, you're not really going to find it in thrift stores. So it becomes very, very hard. So this is a time of year where I actually do 
rate on hand in stores because I actually prefer hunting for you know vintage pieces and rate on pieces at my local thrift stores but when the holidays come you best believe that is where you're going to find me is in store so I did pick up the flight night this cute little witch's hat you guys this is so adorable I really loved it I love the green on the bottom buckle piece it's so pretty now there is an imperfection on this there the L is kind of smudged with some black it looks like it dripped down and it's kind of like made the L weird like divided but I don't care it's absolutely fine I love it this was $19 and 99 cents at home goods and I just think this is so adorable it's such a cute cute piece and I love that it's not humongous like last year um, I found those stacked books um, that have the little witch's hat on top. And let me tell you, those things were huge. And they easily chipped, which I hated it. And one thing that I was looking for last year that I did not have any luck at all. And now this year I found like so, so many at home goods were the Johanna Parker kitchen towels. So I think these are so adorable. It's the little witch kettle. I absolutely love Johanna Parker. These were $7.99, so it's a two pack. You get the one with the design in the front, and then the one in the back has all the pretty little black stars and circles, and I absolutely love it. Now, I did pick up two, you guys. So I am bubbling and brewing some ideas for giveaways because I am on the road to my 1000 subscriber, which is very, very exciting because then I'll be able to have the opportunity to get monetized. So I'm very, very excited. So I'm going to come up with, you know, some really cool um, giveaways. And I still actually do have a 900 subscriber giveaway that I'm going to be doing very soon. So make sure to stay tuned for that as well. Now, before I move on to more spooky Ray Dunn finds, I am going to show you the stuff that is not Halloween really quick. So I ended up picking up this, which is a cute little wooden sign. It says Lemonade, 25 cents, and it has a cute little lemon drawn on it. It was $6. It was actually on clearance. So I thought this would be really cute for my regular decor, you know, when it's no longer any holiday time you know season i thought that would be really cute to display somewhere i also picked up the other follow your own path dorothy mug from the wizard of oz collection i never had any luck with the with these in store i had a wonderful friend that um had one and i purchased it from her so i'm very very thankful for that but i had never ever run into them in store so it was really exciting to have found this this was nine dollars and 99 cents and it has dorothy on the back again i'm not giving any hints yet as to what will be included in the giveaway but that might just be an item in the giveaway you guys again mugs that i never found in store and all of a sudden they're either you know recirculating again or they're returns I found the Cinderella Disney mug. I love this little blue bow, like with her, you know, her dress color. This was $9.99. Then we have Cinderella on the front and a very beautiful blue as well on the inside of the mug. This is part of the Disney Princess collection. It's absolutely so adorable. Now, back to spooky Halloween. So, I picked up another mug. It, the majority of my haul, you guys, is mugs. Um, but I have one really cool set that I'm so excited to share with you guys. So this one is the Boo To You. Boo To You, honey. Orange. It's pretty. I love it. This does not have black on the inside. It's just orange all over. This was $6.99. This was a home goods find. And the Cinderella and Wizard of Oz was also a home goods find. Next we have Bewitched, classic white, but on the inside it has like a very light green. Love, love, love it. This was also $6.99 from Home Goods. I think these were out last year. I'm not too sure, um, but let me know if you guys know if those were out last year. So next up is Goldfriend. Are you a Goldfriend? This is so pretty. I love the black. It's like a, it's a matte black with the orange lettering. 
I think it's absolutely so pretty. That orange really pops out with the black and the inside is a very pop orange. I love, love, love it. This was $6.99 for the ghoul friend. Now, my hubby has also been able to do some Ray Dunn hunting while I'm working. So I am very, very thankful to my husband, Joe. Thank you so much, honey, for getting these for me. So he found the Hocus Pocus mug. I really, really, really love, love, love when she incorporates her actual artwork in the design, you guys. I really love those. I really wish she would do a lot of these more because I know with her older collections, she used to do this. I love it. I just love the witch. It's so cool. It's white on the inside. This was $6.99 at Home Goods, And we also have the I Put a Spell on You Witch's Feet. So this is more of the oval cylindrical mug. This was $6.99 at Home Goods, and it has the Witch's Feet with the green stockings. I just absolutely love it. I know that there are measuring cups that are circulating for this collection of the Witch's Feet. So, ooh, that would be so awesome if I ran into them. I've never gotten or even have came into a store with measuring cups. So they're always so hard to find. And I have the other Witch's Brew mug that is so perfect to that other, you know, Hocus Pocus mug with the witch. These look absolutely so adorable. Again, I love it when she incorporates her artwork. We have the cauldron with what's brewing inside, the baths, and then Witch's Brew. This was also $6.99. And Last but not least, until I share with you guys my awesome mega find, which is also thanks to hubby because he found it for me. I picked up, uh, well, he actually picked up this magic potion bottle. It was $9.99. Um, I didn't even realize all of this, that, you know, there's a lot of defects on this. So I'm kind of on the fence whether or not I should have him return it. Just because the paint job is really, really bad on this. I, I didn't even notice it when he sent me, you know, a video. Well, he videoed me. He FaceTimed me. I didn't see how bad this was. So I don't know if I might keep it or if I might return it. Um, I don't know. Still haven't decided. But it was still a really, really cute find. So let's go ahead and share with you guys the most amazing find, which I'm so excited for. So I am very, very excited that he found this, but I'm also hoping that I come across the mugs and the canisters because this collection is absolutely amazing and it's going to be perfect for Dia de los Muertos, which is Day of the Dead. I am so excited and you guys know what I'm talking about, the Coco Pixar collection with Ray Dunn. I absolutely love it. So he FaceTimed me and he found the stack mug set which is the coco one and it says land of the dead this goes for a hefty 29.99 which the price was a little bit uh you know for me i was like oh but i got you know fear of missing out because it's very very hard to find the disney collection stuff i have never came across like the pixar stuff i haven't came across in store um Cinderella I'm barely getting into you know in the store now so it's been very very hard to find this stuff so I didn't not want to have anything for Coco so when he found this I absolutely loved it so these are the stackable mugs which are black and the lettering is white it says land of the dead $29.99 and on the back it has all of the wonderful designs we have Miguel as a skeleton we have Ernesto de la Cruz right here. We have, oh my gosh, this is so terrible. It is his great grandfather, which is, oh my God, I'm so bad, you guys. It's not, is it Victor? Oh my gosh, I'm really, really bad, you guys. I should know this. I've seen Coco like so many times. Um, but Ernesto de la Cruz and then we have the guitar. So these were absolutely so adorable. I really, really loved them and I was so happy again because I'm really hoping that I can find the mugs and the canisters because I really want them for my Day of the Dead display that I do. And it would be such a cool collection 
to add because I always like incorporating a little bit of radon into all of my decor. So that wraps up this spooky, spooky, spooky haul for radon. And let me know in the comments below, you guys. I know there was so much in the shop with me session. So let me know what is something that you would have picked up that you saw in my shop with me session. Is there something that would have made it home with you? I just, you know, I love having those conversations with you guys. So let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like this video. Give me a follow if you aren't already. Again, I am on the road to my 1000 subscriber. So I'm very, very excited so I can start, you know, monetizing. That's awesome too. You know, it's really, really cool. So I'm just so excited to get there. Again, I have a few giveaways coming up. If we make it to a thousand subscribers, I will be doing as well another giveaway. So definitely make sure to stay tuned for more information until we get closer to the 1,000 subscribers. And let's see. Make sure to stay tuned. There are more videos to come from my Hawaii vacation, you guys, and still a few hauls as well from that trip. So make sure to stay tuned. Hit the notification bell so you're notified of all my weekly videos. And thank you so much, you guys. Have a wonderful and awesome week. And make sure to stay safe. And until next time, bye, everyone.